<clears throat> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today we're going to be doing a review of Twisby Black, and that is a sign that we are live. So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to 30 inks, 30 days, or in this case, 31 inks in 31 days. I'm going to be doing a couple of things to start off the videos every day. Um, I'm going to try and use the same pen every day except for today because this ink I wanted to be put in my Waterman 12 so I could write with it uh, pen friend letters and whatnot. So that is the ink that is going in this pen until it runs out. So that's exciting. Um, let's start with this the thing that I'm going to do. So today is Wednesday, July 1st. And today is today is day one eighty three. Days one eighty three. One eighty three. Thought question is: What do you see when you look into the future? Okay. So far, so good. Okay, and then today's quote, the quote of the day is, the best way to cheer yourself up is to try to cheer somebody else up. Okay. Okay, this was a gift. This is Twisby Black. It was provided by Amanda B. Thank you, Amanda B. Um, what else am I forgetting? Let's see. Um, one of the questions that was asked in the morning group was, if you could have one, if you could have your own free house built, one room, what would it, what would one weird or special thing would it be? So I basically just did my whole house. I said, what if you have your own house to build to specs? So I said, uh, a spa bathroom with a huge shower and a bed and a bench. 
a jacuzzi tub, an indoor swimming pool, a theater, a sewing craft room, um, um, a swing, swinging cup bed, a jacuzzi, a gazebo, a rose garden, a hot tub, a hammock, swinging bench, a rocking chair, a lazy boy bean bag, a huge kitchen with a huge walk-in freezer, a huge stove, pantry, smoker, grill, pizza, combi oven, an island with plugs with a kitchen, a huge kitchen aid, a garden, a greenhouse, a butterfly garden, a trellis garden, a conservatory with plants, a tea set, an alcohol bar, a pool table, a gaming room, a library, a grand staircase, a post office box, fast internet, office of a leather desktop, an ink swatch wall, a tea coffee cart, a fireplace, a gym, a sauna, a warmed cooled floors, Underground house, basketball, tennis court, badminton, ping pong, top notch security, retina scan access, automatic opening doors, automatic lights, blackout room, automatic window shades, gothic steampunk, dark theme, robotic cleaning, robotic lawnmower, automatic di dog feeder, dog, cat, rabbit. Pony, Pony Track, Stable. Yep, that basically sums it up. On to the review. Okay. So this is the Exceed Hard Dotted Grid. And it doesn't bleed through, so that's great. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let's go on here and we'll search for Twisby. I found a 70 ml bottle for $17.99, $15.99 at Le Bear Inc. Sorry, guys. Uh, Pen Boutique, $15.99. Anderson Pens, $15.99. Sample from Goulet is $1.50 for two mil sample. 70 ml, 70 ml bottle from Twisby is $17.99. 70 ml bottle from Goulet is $15.99. Um, 70 ml bottle from Colt Pens is £15.95. If you buy the bottle from Twisby, oh, this is blue black. But Twisby. They have a small bottle of black. No. Got a big bottle of black for $15.99. They, um, they don't have it in the 18 ml bottle, so that's terrible. At any rate, oh, and that's us. Okay, so let's see how this ink writes on some paper, shall we? This is a 3x5 note card. Didn't bleed through. Um, sorry, just one second. Let's move, let's do the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. Mm. Oof. 
one being a two-y, three and a four-y, and a five-y. Still, it's a very wet ink. Super wet. So, uh, still drying. There's a little bit of feathering, but this is a very wet ink. A little bit of ghosting, no bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. And I can already tell I'm going to have to move these out, so. Okay, let's move on to the Tomaway River paper. 52 GSM from the Birmingham Pen Company. Very wet ink. That is just really wet. You can see how wet that ink is. Good lord. Normal Tomoe River ghosting. You know, bleed through, I would totally use the back side of this paper. All right, the Birmingham Pen Company. This review will probably go on um, inkswatch.com after I'm finished with the review. So if you guys are curious about ink swatches, you can go to inkswatch.com and check them out. No bleed through, a little bit of ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. This is such a pigmented ink. Wow. It's very pigmented. I have some sort of ear infection going on. So that's fun. It's making everything sound like I'm underwater. Let's look at uh, Rhodia Dot Pad 80 GSM. Um, One yana, two yana, three yana, four yana, five yana. Still very wet. Oof. No bleeding, little bit of ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Okay. Now let's look at the CVS Caliber Notebook. Six inches by four inches. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. But it's gonna bleed it's gonna bleed it's gonna transfer if you turn the page too quickly and then it'll smear so this is gonna take a little long it's gonna take longer to dry than normal inks so what I recommend is that you have some um, toilet paper around Hold on one second. Just keep yourself a little square of toilet paper around and just place it on, swipe over, and it should be dry. Keyboard should be. Mm, maybe a little 
little bit of feathering, definitely a little bit of spread. But then again, this is a very wet pen, so who knows? It could be one or both or the other. <clears throat> All right, let's move on to the Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. Trying to use it as lightly as possible. Because this puts out a lot of ink. So maybe I should ink up a different pen. Um, some thoughts about inking up a different pen. Maybe this one. Nope, I'm just going to roll with it and see how it goes. And bleeding a little bit, but not completely soaked through. Heavy, heavy ghosting. I would not, I'd probably use the back side of this paper, but more likely not. So, really cheap paper. Okay, let's move on to the Lamy Notebook 90 GSM. very wet. Yeah, there's something wrong. I am going to switch out this pen. This is just it's too wet. There's something inaccurate about this what in the heck is going on too wet. There's supposed to be a very dry ink, but it's not being a very dry ink. I don't know why it's being uncooperative. That was an experimentation. I shouldn't have done it, but I did it anyway. That can get cleaned out here in a minute. Um, I'm going to put it in a this here Twisby. I think I'm going to use a different nib though. I want to use a, a 1.1 to um, do the reviews with. Point one is <laughs> too many gin albums. Okay. 
sorry you guys, this is just what happens sometimes. Most people have a broad nib. This is a 1.1, but it acts like a broad. So I'll have to do. Um, oops. Oops, oops, oops. start this review over again because it really wasn't fair. So... Still a really wet ink. Still a really wet ink. Still a really wet ink, but drier than before. No bleed through. Good. Tubiana. 
three yana, four yana, five yana. No bleed through. I would totally use the back side of that paper. Still pretty wet. No bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. No bleed through, I would totally use the back side of this paper. <clears throat> Claire Fontaine. No bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Okay. Move on to some cheaper stuff. This is the writing tablet from iScholar.com. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Oh, that's transfer from the table. Sorry about that. Right here is where the text would be. No bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. All right. This is Expressit filler paper, quad rolled, quad rolled paper. No bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Okay. This is Hewlett Packard Inkjet 90 gram 24 pound copy paper. A little bit of ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. All right, let's move on to some really cheap stuff. Mead wide ruled notebook, 70 count. One yana, two yana, three yana, four yana, five yana. Did not bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. It's pretty awesome for me. All right, now then, let's do some art with this ink, shall we? Okay, this was last week's Ink Diamond Umber Green. 
It did really well with the water test. Not too much excitement going on there. Hopefully with this Twisby Black we'll get some cool looking shading going on. I'm going to try something different this time. Okay. She is. Alexa, stop. Okay. Then we take some Trying to see it lifting off the page, but it's not really going anywhere. And you could probably even use this in a watercoloring scenario. does come up. So that's interesting. It does leave down some green. Which is also very interesting. Not sure exactly what, I, what else I want to do here. Maybe we'll just do it the other way for, for giggles. Um, I'll be right back.
And this is a beautiful color. It's black. It's very, very dark. Okay, I think that I painted that to death. Let's try this way. Pretty cool looking. Oh, that was interesting for sure. That is awesome. Thank you, Amanda B, for this sample. So far, I'm really happy with this ink. I might have to buy me a bottle of it. It's got some purple coming out of it up here. It's very interesting. Do you see the little hints of purple? coming out right here. Really cool looking. Do one of these reviews and I do the thing and I take and
beautiful. Super dark black. Just like my soul. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today. So thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate with a thumbs up. Make a nice comment. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all. So when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. Have a great day. Okay, love you. Bye.